have not auditioned for a musical in a very long time. I just got done with my audition and if you can't tell by my reaction, it went so good! I got a call back, guys. <laughs> so cold out here this morning. We actually have frost on the grass. You can see the, the frost back there. And I walk, it crunches. It's pretty cold. It's pretty cold out, which is why I turned on the fire and I'm wearing a sweater, sweatshirt, whatever you want to call it. What, you need some attention, Chris? Hi, <laughs> Here he comes right in front of the camera. I like the school room today. Me too. <laughs> Our family are sun worshipers. And when I say that, it means that we do not like to be cold. <laughs> and I know, that's whining. It's whining. <laughs> but I hate to be cold. And yesterday, a cold front came in and it is really cold. It is like 30 degrees colder than it has been. We can go in the hot tub tonight. What? what? Yeah, because it's 140. Let's just go. Degrees? That makes me happy. I love 140 degrees. degrees. Let's do it after school. Seriously, I got my duck. As a school surprise. Driver on the bus goes move on back. Move on back. Move on back. The driver of the bus goes move on back. All through the town, the mommy on the bus says, shh, 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 shh. You are worth it, yo. Thanks. What about you? Oh, you are worth it. Guess what? I am not worth it. What do you mean? No, you are worth, worth it is in the truck. Whose is this one then? Uh, Mine? First time, Ellie. You can wear this one. Oh, that's a good idea. trying to vote and Allie's messing it all up for us. <laughs> Allie thought that she registered to vote um, a couple weeks ago and it apparently didn't work out. So she's trying to do it online now. So, well, we came to a voting place, the early voting place, and it opened about an hour and a half ago and the line is very long and not moving. So, which is fine, except for they just told us that there are no voting machines, there's no electronics. So, we're like, well, that would mean we'd have to register. We have Sarah and I have ours right here, our ballots, and we'd have to get in there. Well, we wouldn't have to register, they, but they'd just give us a blank ballot and then we'd just go from there. So, since we already have our ballots, Sarah and I, and Allie doesn't have hers, we're just gonna have to figure something else out. Yeah, if we can get Allie registered online, then that's one last step that we would have to do back here. So, no voting for us today unless we come back and just drop our, our ballot. Those people that were behind us left too. Oh, really? Yeah, those people in my car were behind us. Mm. We will vote sometime. Yep, it just is our not right. Today. And it's our responsibility, it's our duty to vote. And it's also going to be nice to have all this over with. So yeah. many people have been divided over this whole election in the United States and it's time to just get this over with and the fighting about who's going to win will be over soon. <laughs> okay, you guys are probably wondering why I was doing those weird like lip buzzes and weird singing thingamablobbers. But I have an audition in like 30, 30 minutes-ish. And so that's why I'm all dressed up and looking all nice. I'm terrified. It's 
So this time is not for a company, but it is for a musical. And it's for our community, like local community theater. And it's Secret Garden. And I'm auditioning for Martha, who she's not like the main lead, Mary Lennox is, but Mary oh, yeah. Lennox is played by a 13 year old. Um, I wouldn't have auditioned for her anyway, but I am auditioning for Martha, who is the maid of Mary. And so she has seven songs, over 40 something lines in the show. She's a big role. And the problem with Martha, the only thing that like I'm a little worried about is she has a Yorkshire accent, which is like a mixture between British and Irish. So that part kind of stresses me out. I don't need to know that right now, but I've been practicing just in case, like callbacks. I'm not gonna get my hopes up with callbacks because I do that and then I don't get called back and I get super, super upset and kind of depressed. Not like depression, but a little sad inside. I've been doing vocal exercises and I've been getting ready and kind of just like breathing because I am very, very nervous. I have not auditioned for a musical in a very long time. And I have improved, me personally, I feel like I have improved singing wise. I know how to belt properly and healthy now. And I feel like I have little less, I'm more confident, little less nerve with singing. I still have that nervousness. Um, I used to have horrible stage fright, but I've gotten over that. I still have a little bit when it comes to auditions but that's normal for everyone. So I'm a little freaked out, I'm not freaked out, a little nervous. My stomach has butterflies. All right, is your throat ready? Yes. Here, let's hear your singing voice. Ah. I have an audition. She's leaving. Thanks. Bye, love you. I'm here. I'm about to go in. I'm so nervous, guys. I still have my mat, my, face is all red kind of still because we played a game for tannerites and i wore goggles and they made my face all red so let's hope they don't notice that i'm trying to take a deep breath okay you can't see me very well i just got done with my audition and if you can't tell by my reaction it went so good i got a call back guys oh this makes me so happy I got a call back from Martha, the character that I auditioned for. Oh my gosh. So I've been practicing on the accent in the song and the lady said that she noticed the accent and I was like, ah! my heart is racing, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is my first ever call back, guys. First ever call back and I'm like, you know what? Even if I don't get Martha, this is a huge, huge thing for me because this is my first ever call back. I forgot one line, like I changed the words on accent on one line of the song, but other than that, I did so good! Me personally, like my voice didn't crack, I went into like high, my vo head voice and everything so well, oh my gosh, and my last note, guys, oh my gosh, I gotta go home and tell my parents because this is so exciting, guys, oh my gosh, I'm so happy and so excited, the guy was like, well, Ali's nice to meet you, and would like you to come back for callbacks tomorrow. And I'm like, <laughs> like internally I'm screaming and I like, I didn't, I didn't freak out in person because that's unprofessional. But in my inside, I was like screaming of excitement. And now I'm screaming, oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna try to pretend like I was, like it went horrible. No, I'm not even gonna pretend. I'm just gonna bring it straight out and tell mom and dad. I'm home. Hello, how'd it go? Number 27? Yes, number 27, that was my number. Well, I thought it went great, and I got a callback for Martha, the character I auditioned for. Wow. What's a callback? Oh, nice. It means they're considering me for the role. Wow. So they're gonna have me read lines and stuff as Martha, and consider me. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Who's Martha? And this is my first callback ever. For real? Yeah. That's awesome. For a, is it a lead role or what is it? Yeah, she's a lead role. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yay! It went so good. That's awesome. Good job. Now it's hot tub time. Hot tub time. Ooh, food for me. It's hey, no it's good. Dead. I'm sorry. I can't. It's bad. I don't October fourth. You drink it. It's yours. I don't like eggnog when it isn't expired. 
So Branson and Mara bought this for me. A few it was weeks ago. like the first time eggnog was in the grocery store. Look at that date on there. That date says October fourth, and it smells horrible. I was gonna drink it, but your face isn't in it there. It smells horrible. It does smell horrible. Oh, that smells way bad. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, um, can you get me um a leg and arm medicine? Like medicine. Who was asking for that? Me and uh, What's I've the problem? My arm is sick. What's wrong, Hugo? Has pains. Um, I just need a leg medicine. Your legs hurt or what? Yes. What's your deal? Well, I don't know if they need it. Did you forget Sarah. about it? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I need. It. Why do you need it? I think you need to go to sleep. Yeah, I don't know if they really need it. I don't, they have, they don't look like they're having growing pains tonight. Maybe they just need to go to sleep. Yeah, I think we're gonna skip it tonight. We know when they have growing pains and I think they just get used to doing things and taking children's ibuprofen every night, which is not something they do, but I think they're just tired. Not tonight, boy, sorry. But it sure was cute them asking for it on the intercom though. Thank you so much, you and Dark. Thank you so much. For what? For filling up the hot tub. You're welcome. It is one of our favorite nighttime routines because we get in there and we just talk, talk about all the things. Talk we don't typically have our phones. Are you ready? We're ready, let's go, yes, Diego. let's go. Subject just typically just comes up just out of the blue. It actually might be a little too hot. And then we'll just talk and talk and talk and talk and yeah, and we've had some awesome conversations out there. In the hot tub. So tonight was a good one too. Mm -hmm. Talked about Disney World and the kids dreaming about it and Canyon talking about Lagoon and some of the rides there. And I didn't understand what he was talking about, but he sure was passionate about it. It's exciting just to kind of hear their minds and, and just hear their thoughts and get away from cell phones and the normal stuff inside the house and the distractions and just, yeah, something about the hot tub, the parties, the conversations, the meetings that we have. Yep. We love it. So it's nice it's to have a, it back. A great place. So find a place where you can connect with other people. It really is worth it to take the time and slow down and stop and just share your hopes and dreams and excitements and fears and all of the things. So it's awesome. Share your emotions. It's okay. It really is. It's more than okay. It's, it's absolute in life. And remember that we love you guys and we're so grateful for you. Yep. Never forget that. You are you worth, are it. worth it. <laughs>